things. So, um, I just, a few, well, a few minutes ago, finished the episode with the quarterback, uh, Elijah McGlee, and that's season five, episode three. And it was the tribute to Cory Monteith. And I'm not really gonna spoil anything. I mean, there's not really much to give a spoilers because nothing major really happened in the episode except that they were just talking about him and singing songs about him and stuff. But I think if you're watching this review or not watching it, you've already seen the episode. But if you haven't, you definitely want to have his issues. Lots of them. I mean, well, I didn't need a lot, lot, but if you really, really, really emotional, then yeah, you're going to have lots of issues. But, I mean, that idea is quite emotional. I was just thinking a little bit ago about when I first heard about Cory that Cory Monteith had died, and when I first heard that, I was like, hmm, well, maybe he did, maybe, I mean, I, it, I just couldn't believe it, like, I literally could not believe that he was dead. I mean, I knew it, but it's like, I don't have any tangible proof that he's actually dead. I mean, of course, I couldn't see his body or anything, see it there, see his feet. I wasn't able to go to, I couldn't go to his funeral or anything. So, for the longest time, even though I knew he was dead, I still did, it just didn't feel like he was really dead. I was like, I kept expecting, okay, I'm going to see him on this episode or on that episode of Glee. And, like, the next, the newest episodes. And, of course, I didn't, but it still was like, okay, well, I know he's dead, but it still doesn't feel real. Well, now it does. I'm sorry. It does. I knew I couldn't do this video without getting emotional. Anyways. But, yeah, watching this episode, it made it so real. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a great episode, but I'm afraid if I download any of those songs, I'm gonna, but, well, especially, like, the one that, um, Lee and Michelle sings, I, I can't even remember the name of the song right now, it was, I know it was by Bob Dylan and Stell covered it, and that's the version they used, but that, Oh God, every time I hear that song, it's going to make me fall. And I'm going to listen, if I listen to the Glee songs right now, I'm going to, especially like, um, Don't Stop Hoopin' and Jesse's Girl, all those, I will start falling like crazy. I mean, not in a bad way, in a good way. But, I just, I, this is one of the most genuine episodes of Glee. I mean, yes, they they were acting, but they weren't acting, if you get what I mean. Like, yes, it was the role that they were playing, but you could tell they were crying. It wasn't fake crying. They really were upset. And even though I never met Cory Monteith, it's so sad to see someone that I've watched on TV, social media, for a few years now. And yet, he's not going to be back in another episode. I'm not going to see Finn in a new episode. But just I mean I 
I've never known anyone personally going through addiction through that problem. And I guess I'm lucky that I haven't known anyone who's going through it. But, you know, I'm not a mother. And I've never lost a sibling. I do know what it's like to lose family. I lost grandparents. But I, I know I can't say what it's like to lose someone and like um oh, okay this is gonna be a spoiler my friend's mom on the show said you wake up I don't know what it'd be like to wake up and be and forget for a moment and then it'd be like You're getting that call all over again. But just you know, it made me think of when my, my last grand my my grandmother died. I still have one other one, but when my husband died I cried so much that day. But I could tell you I'm sure it was nothing like it would be. Like, it probably was for Corey's mother, and for Leah, I'm so sorry for her. Leah, I, don't, I know you're probably not watching this, you probably won't watch this, but I'm so sorry for what happened. Yeah, I just had to say something to her, sorry. Oh, my heart goes out to all of them. I know it's like to lose a loved one, but like to lose somebody even closer than a grandparent. You don't know. Especially a sibling. I do have a sister who's actually about Corey's age. He, Corey's actually a little older. I can't imagine what it'd be like to lose him. I don't even want to think about it. Okay, that's my thoughts and my drug, and just my my thoughts and I just needed to let some of those things out. Okay, I'll talk to you later, and I don't know when the next video is gonna go up because I'll start a job or I'm I'll have, I'm gonna be starting a job pretty soon. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.